Before we get into things, some new information has come out with the new update. The New Year's units have been revealed, so if you're trying to be smart with your orbs, I would go take a peek at some of the data mine information. I'll leave links in the description. A certain someone finally got an ult, and it looks like another pretty crazy banner. Since we got the details early and this banner is literally releasing New Year's Day, I will put up my breakdown of the banner once the official reveal trailer comes out. Now getting things back on track, welcome to another annual Christmas special. This time I want to talk about my favorite heroes from year 3, and it's basically including anyone from last winter to this one, so it's not exact but close enough. First I want to talk about some older units I built up during year 3, and I can't leave out my plus 10 Ephraim which I finally managed to achieve, plus 10 merges, plus 10 dragon flowers, summer support, the works. Pretty simple build, I really haven't changed it much throughout the years. Distant counter, quicker post is pretty much it. Um, I did give him flame segment as well, that's a pretty fun weapon. And that's about it, he's actually my third plus 10 unit in the game. My second plus 10 was actually my Black Knight this year. Uh, he's my first plus 10 uh, Heroic Grails unit, and since then I've accumulated a bunch up and I don't know what I'm really saving it up for. I think the only thing I've changed on my Black Knight's build is uh, swapping out Bold Fighter for Special Fighter. I would say I can swap between the two, and I'm still looking for a good ace go for him. I've just gone with Brazen Attack and Defense 3 for now, but I kind of want Fortress Defense and Res 3, but you know, I don't have the fodder at the moment. Next up is Summer Innis, and I did finally manage to give him a Fire Sweep Axe. Really haven't done much with his build, just added Life and Death 3 and Hit and Run, and that's about it. Made a whole video talking about him uh, right before this one, so you can go check that out if you want to see more. A unit I was really surprised by this year was actually Selif, and this is because of his tier things uh, refined that he got, which basically gives him a miracle effect if he starts the battle with 50% more HP. And I've used Selif as one of my main units on my 8th Raids defense teams, and he's been pretty phenomenal. I'm really surprised at how he performs in that mode. Basically, he should be able to tank pretty much anything unless the enemy gets danced. And then if he can make a player phase move or someone tries to bait him in, he has lunge and savage blow. And supporting him, I have a whole bunch of wings and mercy units. So it's a lot of fun. I got a bunch of satisfying defense wins because people underestimate Selif and his tierfing. For example, people try to bait him in with a blue unit and normally that works out. But thanks to tierfing's miracle effect, Selif actually survives 1 HP. And it's just pretty hilarious. Next I have some Sacred Stones units I loved using. I did actually give Seth his Silver Brand Refine, which is he has Speed Tactic on his weapon, and then I kitted him out with a full buffing support build, Res Tactic as his C slot. I can always use Attack Tactic as a Sacred Seal, but for now I am using Attack and Defense Link with Smite or Swap or Reposition. Uh, gave him Fury 3 just, just to have more stats in general, because I'm not exactly expecting him to fight anything other than a green unit. I'm actually really impressed with how he turned out. I know a lot of people don't like the Triangle Death weapon refines. I also decided to build up my Amelia a little bit. I gave her her Grado Pole Axe and it's refined. I gave her Special Fighter because that's totally what she's meant to run with that weapon. And I'm still kind of looking for an A skill to use with it. Um, currently using Steady Posture along with Swift Stance, Armor March, but I'm looking into something like more offensive. Probably run Gale Force or Aether instead of Bonfire. Last couple of units that I really think got a second win this year is Brave Ike and Brave Lucina. Holy cow, Brave Ike's refine for his Irvin is just amazing. I decided to go full investment and gave him Distant Counter and he is just incredible as a just a good old tank. Uh, supporting him is Brave Lucina. Her Gurskogel refine is actually really good too. It gives physical damage allies a steady breath type effect and that is really good with Brave Ike so he can proc Aether on his counter attacks. Um, I haven't really done anything special with her build. Just gave her Sword Breaker and running with double drives because her weapon is also uh, providing in combat buffs as well. I'm very happy with both of these units and I think the refines are definitely both worth getting. Moving on to actual year 3 units, I want to start off with some legendary boys, legendary Alm and legendary Roy, both really good legendary heroes in my opinion. I managed to get some pretty good boons for both of them and I've also used both of them in allegiance battles and they've made things a lot easier. Uh, legendary Alm needs no introduction, he is extremely strong with his Luna Arc and Luna Flash special, lots of true damage, lots of power, lots of speed, just a very good colorless archer. As for Legendary Roy, he is very easy to use. I really like his Human Virtue C skill, which can buff up non-Beast and Dragon allies. 
Next, want to pander to my Sacred Stones units. I uh, got Dual Ephraim and Leon. Unsurprisingly, they are extremely powerful. I really like Regan Leaf and Heavy Blade 4 with low attack and defense. It's a very good combo and build. I'm actually really happy that I, I got a plus speed boon. I actually don't mind that. He already has enough attack as is. As for Garrick, I also managed to get a plus speed boon, so he already has 40 speed, and the guy already comes with Darting Blow 4. Obviously, I would hope for something like Swiss Sparrow, but at the moment, I'm actually okay keeping his, most of his base kit intact. Uh, I love the Fire Sweep Axe. With Moonbow and Flashing Blade, Garrick can just easily two-tap people, and it's a lot of fun. I really enjoy using him, and in the future, because he has such high speed in attack, I'm kind of thinking about looking into something like a slaying axe or just something other than a fire sweep axe, but we'll have to see about that. Also from the same uh, Sacred Stones banner, we have Tethys and Ewan. I actually wasn't planning to summon for Tethys because I was hoping she would be demoted, and while she did get demoted, I actually ended up getting a 5 star copy of her anyway. Plus speed is not bad, however I'm kind of looking for a plus uh, res nature now. And because of what we know about the New Year's banner, I actually have a new dagger for her that I'm planning to give her, so really happy about that. At the moment, didn't really change her base kit much. Still sticking with speed and res bond 3, added wings of mercy, hone attack because I usually use hone attack on all my dancers if I have nothing else. I am actually thinking about merging her up just if I get copies over time. As for Yuin, I actually managed to get two copies of him on the banner back to back, so that was pretty exciting. Uh, I decided to merge into a plus res nature, so he has a ton of resistance just to go along with his uh, his red serpent tome, so it stands, and to activate sabotage speed and ploys better. I haven't really done much with him, just gave him attack ploy, and that's about it. I'm not sure if I'm planning to stick with this current build. I would like some extra defense ideally, but you know, we'll see what happens. Next we have Cormac, who honestly, I actually wasn't really the planning to do much with him. However, because we have the Vanguard plus Lance, and I had an extra Surter, I actually decided to go full in on a full defensive enemy phase build. And honestly, I, it turned out a lot better than I thought, really. Uh, gave him Steady Stance 4, Quick Repose 3, the Vanguard Lance, and I actually don't know what I'm going to use for his Sacred Seal. Uh, close defense, pretty obvious choice. However, Brazen Tank and defense is also really fun. Uh, I'm actually really happy with how Cormac turned out. And if I don't have anyone I want to spend Grails on, maybe I'll merge him up. Someone who I do plan to merge up in the long term is Ross, who did get added as a 3-4 to star unit. And I'm actually really happy with how he's turned out. He's kind of more of a slower axe unit, or I guess more average speed compared to someone like Garrick. However, he has a ridiculous plus attack super boon with really high base attack, so I'm actually leaning toward just going for maybe something as simple as a Brave Axe build or a Slaying Axe with really high attack. I'm not sure, it's just a lot of fun to have high attack units. Currently planning to summon on a lot of green this year, just in the hopes that I can get more Ross merges. Still gonna have to pray to the RNG gods to get enough copies to plus 10 him, but hopefully down the line in the future, maybe by next year's time, I'll have a plus 10 version of him. Next, I have some fun seasonal units. Lara Show and Dozla from the Halloween banner this year are pretty good with their Fury weapons. I actually managed to get a minus attack plus speed nature for Lara Show. And while honestly it's not optimal or anything, she still performed pretty well with 42 speed thanks to the Madness Flask and Swiss Sparrow. Um, with Rally Attack and Speed Plus and the Speed and Res Ruse skill, I actually really like that combo and I don't have any other Ruse skills on hand, so maybe I'll try playing around with it more often. As for Dozla, I got lucky with a plus attack nature and he has a lot of attack with his Pumpkin and Bucks Fury and Dagger. He also has a dual rally skill, however, as you can see, I gave him both fighter. So I'm actually hoping to prep him for another 8th Raids defense team. I know a lot of people don't really pay attention to the or the 8th Raids only skills. However, I still think the 8th Raid defense skills are pretty good. This one's going to give Doza a plus 10 attack and defense potentially. And I can also give him something like Steady Blow for even more attack and defense. Combine that with Bold Fighter and well, we'll see how many people try to stop and tank him. The inspiration for building up my Dozla is actually Picnic Floor, who I've talked about a lot this year. I really like her as a unit, an armored dagger unit. However, her dagger is really strong. It has an effect where if Flora has more res than her opponent, the more res she has, the more she inflicts minus attack and defense on the enemy during combat, so in combat debuffs. And she also has that Aether Raid's defense skill for attack and res, so I take potential extra plus 10 attack. Again, combine that with both Fighter, Iceberg, 
and a lot of units don't survive that. The amount of times I've seen people try to tank her with blue units and they still die is pretty hilarious and I'm really happy with how she is as a unit. I do think some people sleep on her as a unit. Another fun seasonal unit that I got this year was Summer Levatine with a plus attack boon. And again, Summer Levatine is a flying green mage with a really high base attack value. And instead of sticking with her fun seasonal weapon, I gave her a blade tome because she also has mirror impact, defense and res link so she can potentially buff herself and she has odd attack wave. It's just a perfect recipe for a blade tail mage and she is pretty dang impressive and really scary in a full flyer emblem team. In year three, we got beast units and some of my favorite ones include Raisin and Nace Solo. Raisin is a flying dancer and his, him and his sister have that unique, uh, unique weapon that allows them to heal allies at the start of every turn. And this is a really good effect. I like using Raisin a lot just in various modes like allegiance battles, worker sieges, and he's just pretty good. I managed to get a plus speed boon and as I merged into it, so he is pretty fast too. So it's pretty hard to take him down unless it's a really strong red unit. As for Nace Sala, he's a very impressive uh, free unit you can get your hands on. When he transforms, he gets three movement. He's really fast. He got Swift Sparrow and his weapon inflicts true damage on hit the faster he is. I give him Desperation just because, you know, he is going to take some damage since he's on the squishier side. However, still a very impressive unit. Tellius had a really good year this year and two of their mythic heroes are ones that I really like a lot. Altina is on the newer side, however she is just so much fun to use. Regno and Landa is a distant counter weapon and she always attacks twice which is just a deadly combo. Combine that with Vantage and she is deadly on the player phase and the enemy phase. Really fun unit, I've been using her a lot and she is very impressive. You just slap on a brazen attack skill for her once she gets into Vantage range and pretty much after that the only thing that's going to stop her is a hardy bearing unit. As for Mythic Yoon, she is another fun unit, lots of debuffs, which is always pretty fun to play around with, and I really like her weapon, which when she attacks a debuffed enemy, she gets to make a follow-up attack, and she gets plus eight attack as well. I've been using Yoon a lot for PvE content, and she's surprisingly really fun to use, and really effective actually. Sabotage Red is also really good, and also I can just put on another ploy skill, just to spread out more debuffs on the enemy. Really happy using her, and I use her a lot with other units that like to depend on debuffs. Last on the list, I just wanted to share some of my three houses units that I managed to get. Uh, I really like using Southus, Dimitri, and Edelgard. They're all really fun units. Southus is just kind of crazy, as you can see with her winter version. Very fast unit, pretty decent stats, and just a fun all-around unit to use. Sirius is a really good special, and I like that she doesn't get uh, killed by dragon effectiveness weapons. As for Dimitri and Edelgard, well, they both have follow-up attack mechanics built into their kits, and they both have a crap ton of attack, so they do a lot of damage. I really like Dimitri as a newer Cavalier, since he has death blow 4 and low attack of defense, which is a really good combo. His lance can be a little awkward to use sometimes, but if you use Savage Blow, you can make it work. As for Edelgard, I do have a Mind Stag nature. However, I actually have another copy of her that I got recently, so I'm gonna merge her up and I can get rid of that negative Bane. She is still a really good unit, and I've run into some Edelgards in PvP content where I can't do any damage to her because she just has so much defense. Really fun unit, and I look forward to both her and Dimitri's legendary versions, hopefully later this year. So for my absolute favorite units of year three, I actually have two I wanna talk about. First up to Barn is a red beast unit and he's a flying one. So when he transforms, he gets three movement combined with his weapon that allows him to make a follow-up attack on full health enemies. And with Gale Force and Sturdy Impact and Heavy Blade, he is an absolute monster. I actually really like using him a lot and I actually got a plus speed nature. So I gave mine desperation and sometimes it actually works out, which is, you know, good for me. Everything in his kit just is really good. It all works together. And he's one of the best units, I think, that came out this year. And he was at the start of the year last year. So had to wait a long time to talk about him. Someone who actually didn't even come out in 2019, but in 2018 is Legendary Azure. In fact, she was the Legendary Hero last year in the December month. And well, I think everyone knows how insanely powerful she is. The best dancer in the game, hands down, no questions asked. I always say that if she had zero stats, she'd still be one of the best units in the game because her dance allows her to give infantry and flying units three movement, and she can spread buffs on any unit to all their stats, which is incredibly powerful for both PvP and PvE content. 
one of the best units in the game by far and I think everyone should try to get her because it's it's honestly she's just such a game changer for so many different scenarios. Peony from book 4 is actually pretty close I would say however I can't deny that having 3 movement from Legendary Azura does make a difference. So at the moment I would rate her better than Peony however she's really good too. So those are my favorite units from the past year. Let me know in the comments what your guys' favorite units have been in the past year and maybe any units you've built up including ones that got new refines this year. It was a pretty interesting year with beast units entering the fray and then we also have dual units now and, and I'm pretty sure we're going to have a lot more dual units in the future. Thanks for watching this video, happy holidays and merry christmas if you celebrate it. Hope you have good luck on your summons and I'll see you guys soon. Have a couple more videos before the year is over.